Talking about daily habits, I get out of bed about 7 o'clock every morning. After getting up, I go into the bathroom and take a shower. Then I shave, brush my teeth and comb my hair. After brushing my teeth, I put on my clothes. After that, I go downstairs to the kitchen to have breakfast. After eating breakfast, I go back upstairs again. Then, it's usually time to wake up my little brother. He can't dress himself yet because he's too young. I wash his face and hands and then I dress him. He tries to button his own shirt but he cannot do it. My little brother takes a bath before he goes to bed at night. He always forgets to wash behind his ears. I'm always tired when I come home from work. At bedtime, I take off my clothes and put on my pajamas. I get into bed at about 11.30 and go right off to sleep. Talking about daily habits, I think the most terrible thing in life for my little brother is getting up in the morning. He's almost sick when my mother calls, Herbert, it's 7 o'clock, get up. Herbie answers, I'm coming and goes right back to sleep. I'm not at all like my brother. I don't like to go to bed at night but I don't mind getting up in the morning. I usually wake up before my mother calls me. I jam out of the bed and go into the bathroom to take my shower. I get dressed, brush my teeth, comb my hair and get ready to go downstairs for breakfast as soon as my mother calls. But not Herbie. He just sleeps. A military band in our bedroom could not wake him up. I call him and say, Get up. Mom will be up here to pull you out of the bed if you don't get up immediately. But he just sleeps. After calling a few more times, my mother has to come up upstairs and pull her be out of the bed. He always says, I was going to get up in another minute. Really, I was. It's that very, very, very crazy. At Herbie. Perhaps someday he'll learn to get up on time, but I really don't think so. Listen to this conversation, bedtime. Mother and Mary. Children, it's your bedtime. Go upstairs and go to bed. Oh, mom, do we have to? It's still early. Yes, and it's Friday night. There is no school tomorrow. Yes, but tomorrow we have to get up early and go shopping. I forgot that. Okay, I'll go to bed without arguing. I like to shop. Do I have to take a bath tonight, mom? Of course you do. And don't forget to wash behind your ears. Do I have clean pajamas, mother? Yes, they are in your closet. Be sure to brush your teeth, Mary. I will, and I'll comb my hair too. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Don't forget to open your bathroom window before you go to sleep. We won't. Good night, mom. It's verb study. Get out of the bed. Get into bed. I get out of the bed at about 7 o'clock every morning. My brother gets out of bed at 11 o'clock in the morning. I go out of bed at 7 o'clock yesterday morning. I get into bed at about 11.30 every night. John gets into bed at midnight every night. Put on, take off. After brushing his teeth, he puts on his clothes. Yesterday, I put on my clothes at about 7 o'clock. At bedtime, I take off my clothes and put on my pajamas. After he takes a bath, he puts on his pajamas. Shave? I shave every morning. I've already shaved twice today. I shave after breakfast yesterday morning. He shaves every Monday morning. He's shaving right now. Bras, wants teeth. I brush my teeth every morning. Last night, I brushed my teeth after dinner. He brushes his teeth after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wow. I've brushed my teeth three times today. She's brushing her teeth right now, isn't she? Calm one's hair. After I brush my teeth, I comb my hair. I combed my hair three times yesterday. She combs her hair many times each day. <laughs> dress oneself. He cannot dress himself yet because he's too young. Their little daughter dresses herself already. He dressed himself and then he combed his hair. 
button or button. He tries to button his shirt, but he cannot do it. He buttoned his shirt and then he combed his hair.